Hello, this is my team. This is Li, Zhou, Wu, Shi, and uh, I'm Peter. Today we choose the clothes industry of Bandalas. From the progress of the clothes industry, we can see the changes of the global economy. Okay, this part is the introduction. Economic globalization is a result of productivity development but also permit the uh, development of productivity. It promotes it prom it the flow of production elements on a global source, uh, the improvement of the international division or labor, and the rapid development of the international trade. The development of productivity for, for cost of the national economic productivity and the brand space for development. Uh, from follow the picture, uh, from first picture of the life, we can see that from uh, 2005 uh, to 2015, <coughs> expect that 2007 to 2009, uh, the whole trade is showing an upgrade trade from 10 billion in 2005 to 18 billion in 2015. We can see that from the first picture of the right there, in the past 10 years, our expert return in the world has been on the positive growth trade of the past two years. Okay, we, we, choose, we choose that picture uh, in the clothes industry of the analyst, having that through the changing in the clothes industry. We can make you know clear, clearly the trade of, of globalization Clothing is the general item of uh, clothing, shoes, bags, uh, such like that. Uh, this is one and the one to protect the human body. We can see the flowing dress, this one, uh, which is one of the oldest clothes we can find in the oral history. It's so, it, ha it was thousands of years old. Uh, right here we have two pictures of closing contrast we can see from the end of the second world war to the present uh, clothes design has changed just like the globalization of the clothes industry our group our group considers that the four most important factor in fact the apple industry and the industry competitive Liberty, uh, labor industry and the, the government supply uh, and the response to the apparel industry and the customers' uh, requirements. Those four conditions will create many new challenges in the context of globalization. Now let's, have, let's have move on the more specific explanations. Our group consider that foremost important focus uh, that the apart industry and the industry competitive uh, labor intensive industry and the government supplied and the response to the apart industry and the customer requirement. Those four conditions will crack many new challenges in the context of globalization. Now let's let us move to the more specific explanations. Uh, first, the competition in the government industry is uh, very important because the clothing industry is a low cost, easy to enter industry. From the five forces analysis, the challenges of a new interest and the existing competition is a great. And secondly, the challenges of globalization in labor intensive industry are mainly basic on two points. The first is the inconsistency of wages and production levels around the world. Uh, and the second is overseas direct investment. Uh, overseas direct investment take into account many government, social and cultural environments. Uh, certainly the government's response will also bring different challenges to the garment industry. 
uh, the government's influence is really provided in two aspects. Uh, for example, the government set up a high industry barriers to protect the local industries, or the government does not have the uh, suitable legal environment to protect the intellectual property rights of clothing design. Uh, lastly, the growing needs of customers is also a challenge to the clothing industry brought by globalization. Uh, for example, uh, customers from different regions and different cultures background have different needs for clothing. Uh, company, companies have uh, to face the challenges of uh, di diversity of uh, customers' needs. In order to adapt to the challenges of globalization, the industry usually choose the following five ways to enter fringe markets including export, uh, license operation, uh, franchise operation, joint venture, and FDI. Export refers to the direct exports uh, of goods to the destination country. Licensed operation operates in partnership with local companies with sharing their brands. Uh, franchise operation operates in partnership with uh, local companies with uh, sharing their brands and management experience. Joint venture refers to the establishment of a new company uh, by sharing control rights and share with uh, local companies. Uh, FDI refers to the direct investment uh, and the operation, operation of a company in a French country. Uh, because of the particularity of the government industry, uh, such as uh, relative small barriers, uh, low cost, common materials, and easy transportation, uh, therefore the most suitable way for the apparel industry mainly include export. Export can solve the challenge from the capital and the labor. Among them, export are divided into direct export and indirect export. Uh, indirect export refers to the export of products uh, through domestic intermediaries. Direct export means that the enterprise has its own French trade department or uses intermediaries in the target country to export products. The following chart shows the change in export of some countries. Uh, this chart tells us the total export of major countries uh, in some years. From the chart, we can see that after 2011, uh, expects from France, uh, Germany, and the Netherlands export from all other countries tend to grow. The faster development mainly includes developing countries uh, such as China and India. Including the government industry, export are also growing year by year. Like Zara, uh, Zara's products are most uh, export to the international market. Uh, this way of export is a particularity suitable from some price oriented companies to enter the international market. Uh, export is uh, easy to operate and bring low risk and cost. Uh, Let's my partner to introduce the other way from the government industry. FDI is foreign direct investment. FDI is another transnational business model, suitable for the clothing industry. FDI can reduce the cost of the company and provide job opportunities and more community responsibilities to the local government people. Comparing with exports, FDI is higher risk than exports, but FDI enables a company to maintain product quality, service quality, 
sales patterns and uh, guarantee brand value. But I think that FDI is more suitable for larger companies with brand reputation, generally um, more powerful companies uh, such as Louis Vuitton will choose to carry out FDI in countries where labor costs are relatively low, which can reduce the cost of the company and provide job opportunities and more community responsibilities to the local government people. The Louis Vuitton stories in various countries to ensure their service quality and the price. Uh, we suggest that the currency industry choose geographical strategy to meet the challenges brought by the government. The main challenges brought by the government are trade barriers and intellectual pro property protection. Geographical strategy can help the currency industry to deal with sub-regions. Under the trade of nationalization, such a strategy can min minimize the impact of policies and uh, laws in different countries. <coughs> Our team will introduce the next part of the industry. Thank you. Uh, next one, we indicate uh, that firms can use consolidation strategies to solve the challenges from uh, competition industry. Uh, consolidation strategies can help uh, companies uh, increase uh, market share and reduce uh, competitors in the market and uh, increase control over the market um, in the shortest time. For example, uh, Anta uh, bought uh, the sports brand um, last year to increase Anta's international influence. Uh, so consolidation strategies can help a brand and the international market uh, as soon as possible, but it also consumers a lot. For example, uh, Anta's uh, acquisition cost uh, 4.66 billion euros. Anta has become the world's uh, the largest sport brand after Adidas and uh, Nike through these uh, consolidation strategies. Uh, moreover, uh, we think a closing company generally adopts uh, diversified strategies uh, to cope with the new competitive environment and the challenges. Diversification strategies to solve the challenges from a customer uh, diversification strategies are generally divided uh, into two types. Uh, one is uh, horizontal diversification, uh, uh, where producing uh, exciting products, uh, enterprise can help uh, uh, can produce some uh, products closely uh, related to exciting products. For example. Uh, refrigerators uh, companies began to develop uh, air conditioning, uh, fans, electrical uh, appliances, and uh, other products uh, that belong to horizontal diversification. Uh, the second uh, is the vertical diversification. Uh, vertical diversification refers to the combination of raw material uh, components or subsequent uh, products required by an enterprise. Uh, for example, uh, comp companies that uh, produce refrigerators began to merge upstream suppliers with downstream vendors and that belong to vertical diversification. Uh, for example, uh, the development uh, of Nike is a top example of uh, diver uh, diversity, <coughs> diversity strategies. At the very earliest time, the company designed the shoes to be born, mainly engine in basketball-related sports brands. After having a certain 
uh, reputation and the uh, reputation the company began to develop a sport of war and uh, involved other sports fired such as uh, soccer, tennis, volleyball, uh, swimming, etc. Uh, this is the, the horizontal diversification uh, strategies in the uh, late stage of Nike's international business. Nike set up its own factories abroad to cooperate and annex the upstream and the downstream enterprise to vertical diversification. Generally speaking, uh, diversification strategies can help companies to uh, obtain better market, higher profits, and less expenditure in the international market with higher brand efficiency. But if a small and medium-sized company uh, behind the uh, develops uh, di diversity under the condition of not having enough brand benefit, uh, it may lose sight of one another and lose a lot. One last way to address the challenges of globalization is outsourcing. Outsourcing refers to delegation of non core business to outside third parties specializing in the operation for the for the aim of co cost savings concentration on core business good use of resources access to independence and professional services etc outsourcing means that an enterprise using external resources to provide services for its internal production and operation an enterprise can interest its non core business to an external professional company. Companies can save a lot of costs by outsourcing because the company can outsource the business to some countries and the regions with low wage level and outsource to the local government to provide tax revenue to, to solve the unemployment problem. On the basis of this outsourcing, the company can have reasonable discussion with the local government about tasks, make, make it easier for um, companies to enter the target market. Big brands uh, such as Nike and Adidas have moved their factories away from home countries because they want to save costs and access to the new markets. For example, most of the factories were located in China and Southeast Asian countries. Uh, for example, this picture, uh, this shoes was made in Vietnam. Uh, last one, market adaptation. Market adaptation is to solve challenges from customers. Market adaptation means that when entering the international market, the clothing industry needs to design and produce new products according to the local culture and traditions. It's used to meet the different needs of customers in the target market. In this way, they can enter the new market as soon as possible to get customers' loyalty. On the influence of globalization, the competition environment of clothing industry is becoming more and more fierce. But uh, globalization brings not only competition and challenges, but also more economic growth and wider markets in order to deal with the challenges. The clothing industry should choose appropriate strategies, including geographical strategies, consolidation, diversification, cutting costs, obtain favorable conditions. Large brands use uh, outsourcing and diversity management to expand their brands, trade for the uh, market share, U use opting favorable conditions to integrate local culture to gain customers' loyalty in order to maximize uh, the a company's benefits. Small and medium-sized enterprise take advantage of 
uh, characteristics of easy design and transportation of clothing uh, and take advantage of export and suitable strategy to occupy their own market share in global market. Therefore, as long as the clothing industry adopts appropriate strategies, it can develop and strengthen itself in the challenges and opportunities brought by globalization. Choosing the right strategy to enter the international market is an important criteria for the future market. Thank you, that's all.